Hey guys! Brain freeze. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. So today I have a Daisy Edition Get Ready With Me video where I get ready with you guys for a Daisy party that I have tonight. So if you guys aren't interested in seeing how I do my makeup for these types of events, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I'm first starting off with my Tatcha the Water Cream Moisturizer and oh my god, I love this moisturizer so much. It is so hydrating and it literally smoothed out my face. This was my first time using it and boy oh boy did I fall in love. It's like a moisturizer and a primer. It's like two in one because my pores became literally like, it just disappeared. But anyways, I still did go ahead in with primer, which you can see right now. I'm putting on my Milk Hydro Grip Primer, and I'm just putting that all over my face, even though I really didn't need it, but um, I just put it on anyway. Um, so now I'm just finishing up with my base, and I'm putting on my Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist in the Rose Water and Green Tea one. And just to add a nice glow to my skin for today, I'm going ahead in with my Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Celestial. And I'm just taking a dense brush to apply this all over my face. And of course, to color correct my face, I'm going ahead in with my MAC Prep and Prime Peach Luster Color Correcting Stick and I'm applying this to all the areas of my face where I have hyperpigmentation or just darkness and I'm just trying to brighten it up so that's under my eyes and around my mouth and I'm just I'm smoothing that out with my finger and then going over that with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Sand to just kind of soften out the orange before going ahead head in with foundation. So for foundation today, I'm using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the shade Dawn. And I'm just bouncing this onto my face with my Morphe sponge. And I'm putting this on in sections, mainly because this foundation does dry pretty quickly. And it's a very good full coverage. So I'm just doing it in sections to make sure that the foundation doesn't dry and become too cakey while I'm trying to work with it. And now moving on to eyes, I'm starting off by priming them using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. So for eyes, I'm going ahead in and using my Too Faced Christmas Cookie House Party eyeshadow palette and I'm grabbing this gorgeous shade called Ginger Bells and using my Morphe E17 blending brush, I'm going ahead in and blending this color onto my crease and I am kind of bringing it out so you can see I'm creating this outer V motion um, on the outer corners of my eyes. So just taking my time and smoothing this color out um, so that there are no harsh lines. So now using the same color and the same brush, I'm just applying this color onto the outer corners of my eyes and creating a nice outer V. And just to help me out, I am using this plastic card to just make sure that the edges are nice and sharp and clean. Now once I'm done with that, I am going ahead in with my James Charles palette, which I am super excited about. It's so gorgeous, and I'm grabbing this nice bright coral shade, and I'm applying this onto my crease. So 
So next I'm going ahead in with this gorgeous shimmery coral shade and I'm applying this onto my lid using a small flat brush. So once I'm done with that, I'm going back in with my Morphe E17 brush and I'm just uh, blending out the edges once more to make sure that everything is looking effortless and not so harsh. Now taking this very nice chocolate brown shade and the same Morphe E17 brush, I'm applying this onto the outer corners of my eyes just to add some nice definition to the look. Okay, and so I quickly did my brows off camera and now I'm going back in with that nice chocolate brown shade and I'm applying this onto my crease just to add a little more definition to the eyes. Now once I'm done with that, I'm going ahead in and concealing. I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I will leave the exact shade that I use down below in the description box, so do check that out. So just to brighten up the face a little more, whatever excess product that I have on my sponge, I'm applying this around my mouth, on the bridge of my nose, in the center of my forehead, just to add a nice bright look. And to set everything, I'm using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm just going ahead in with this brush, and I'm applying the setting powder. I did try out this different technique to see if I like it versus using a sponge, and I did like it. Um, I feel like I saved on a lot of products. Product. I didn't use as much um, so I just wiped all that away and now I'm working on my lower lash line I'm just taking a mixture of all three shades that I have on my lids So the two coral shades and the brown and I'm just smoking all three of those colors out And to tight line my eyes, I'm going ahead in with my Marc Jacobs eyeliner, pencil liner. I will leave the exact name down below, so do check that out. And once I'm done with that, I'm going ahead in and applying some lashes. I'm applying my Valesha, Valicia, I don't know how to pronounce it, luxurious 5D faux mink lashes that I got from Amazon and I used my Huda Beauty sticky tack glue to apply these and once I'm done with that I'm just going ahead in with some mascara and I'm using my L'Oreal telescopic of course for contour of course I'm going ahead in with my Too Faced chocolate soleil bronzer and I'm just carving out my cheeks adding a nice definition and once I'm done with that, I'm going ahead and using my Morphe 9N Natural Blush Palette. And I'm grabbing this gorgeous shade right here. And I'm just applying this onto the apples of my cheeks. And then just pulling it up a bit to uh, make it look very nice and blended. And just to make sure everything looks nice and clean and sharp, I'm just going ahead in with a sponge and a little bit of my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm just cleaning up the edges. 
And now for highlight, I'm using my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlight in the shade Blossom Glow. And just to make the color pop a little more on my cheeks, I did spray some Urban Decay All Nighter Spray just so it pops more and you can see that instantly. Um, so yeah, just to finish off the look, I'm going ahead in with my Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick in the shade Trend Setter. Okay guys, so this is the final makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want me to do more Daisy Get Ready With Me videos, then please do comment down below and let me know. And give this video a thumbs up so I know you enjoyed it. And of course, if I didn't, didn't mention any of the products that I used today, everything will be listed down below in the description box. So do check that out. And yeah, that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.